Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I am back with part nine of my Loving My Souls shoe haul. I am a US size 10, uh, European size 42. Um, and I've got quite a few pairs of shoes to show you over here in the corner. But I did want to start with a few pair that I could not wait to wear. Um, so I've actually worn um, these first couple of pairs that I'm going to share with you a few times. I'll tell you a little bit about why I had to get in them and why I'm just filming them. And then we'll jump into the ones that have not yet um, been worn outside of the house. The first pair is a pair of soft leather slide-in shoes. I... Um, bought these because I knew at some point I would be going um, back into the office and I needed closed toe, closed heel, comfortable shoes to wear um, when I am actually um, at work in the facilities. And these have been absolutely perfect with um, jeans, with sundresses, with capris, uh, with skirts and blouses, it has not mattered. They have broken in well. They have um, been perfect for the rainy weather and that is part of the reason that I um, had to go ahead and film them. I'd had a couple of back-to-back -back business trips and I hadn't yet filmed these so I needed to get in these. The next pair are also by Soft. And I picked these up because I picked up the um, anthracite, I think is the other color. It's kind of a metallic-y silver bronze color. And at the time, they didn't have the black ones in my size. I picked these up because the other ones were so comfortable. And because black kind of goes with everything, I actually had a black kind of casual t-shirt sundress that um, I had envisioned these going with. Traveled for work, wore the black soft slide-on slippers um, or tennis shoes during the day. And then as I was leaving and then bouncing around the city at night, I wanted um, shoes that would kind of work with everything that week. So I only had to travel with um, three pair, the, the, the tennis shoes, these, and then my gym shoes. So they worked. They are comfortable. You can tell I'm already starting to um, get my feet shaped in the um, footbeds. These are amazing. And they are full grain leather. They have um, arch support in the inside. They have been amazing. And I'm glad that I didn't wait because um, these will be bro well broken in and well loved by the end of the summer. And then the third pair that I could not wait to get in um, are these from Unisa. I decided to wear these for a couple of reasons. One, I had like a little jersey um, chocolate brown t-shirt dress that I wore a few Saturdays back. And pockets in the front. It was really, really casual. Um, but it was warm outside and I knew that um, I had picked up a couple of pairs of sandals that had these quite sporty athletic soles and I really liked them when I saw them um, online and then when I got them home I liked them but then the more I thought about it, it they're going to show wear and dirt a lot. So I decided if there's an opportunity for me to pull out a pair and go ahead and get some wear, then that's probably the best thing for me to do before I talk myself out of keeping them in um, my collection. So these are just kind of a platform. They were very comfortable straight out of the box. All of the ones that I've shown you so far have been, um, but this is one of those pairs that could very easily be purged or given to a family member at the end of the season because I am already questioning the light colored soul. So those are the first three pair that I could not wait to get into and have already worn and can vouch um, for the comfort right out of the box 
wear in rainy weather, no issues. The next pair is a pair that I picked up from Bloomingdale's, but they are by the brand Ugg. And there was kind of a theme going on. Do you see that? Yeah, there was a theme going on. These are really, really comfortable. They have a memory foam cushion footbed. I could very easily decide to keep these and just use them as like slippers um, or house shoes in the house. Um, but clearly I was on a nude kick um, shoe vibe when I picked these up. And again, these are from the brand Ugg, the little Ugg logo there, okay? So that is the fourth pair. The fifth pair is another one from Unisa. I believe I bought these in both the light and the dark, but nope, these are a little different. These are actually black and kind of have a woven texture on them but again they have this white sole i don't know why everything seems to have this sole that's going to be very difficult to keep clean but i got it in the i guess the saddle or the luggage color in the smooth leather and then the black in the woven pattern i really really wanted them to have this in like a multi-color because it would have been perfect to pull out with my tasuda Duny and Burke bag, but no such luck in the multicolor offering. So that is from Unisa. The next pair is from uh, Sam Edelman, Circus by Sam Edelman. And these are <laughs> kind of similar to the soft ones here but I did specifically buy these for work so that I could keep them in my work um, my luggage for work good arch support full leather again and these are more casual for the weekend into the fall no arch support in these they do have a pretty decent um, footbed but these are the better spend for the money and I purchased these before I bought the soft ones because I was thinking casual but then as our plans to return into office and our travel plans opened up I knew that I needed a really good pair and the soft ones were my option there so these will be for the weekend the others as they have been have been designated for work the next pair is from Lauren Ralph Lauren, and these are in the color tan, and they are in a burnished vaquetta. So here we go with these. A little bit of I think everything is in this color. I didn't have I didn't. I don't think I owned any summer shoes in natural colored leather. So there's a little bit of a theme with today's um, haul. But they have this espadrille bottom, a little bit of a wedge. They have memory foam as well. So a little bit of a cushion footbed. They fit amazing and this buckling leather detail on the top of my foot. I absolutely fell in love with it when I tried them on. I have not worn these as of yet, but I do have um, something specific in mind to kind of wear with these. They do have um, an adjustable strap here on the side, but no goring, no elastic, none of that. So. Um, you'll have to use the adjustments if this is a pair that you pick up. I really, really like these. 
I'm not really big on espadrilles because typically they are just um they feel like they're sitting on a wooden block and I like shoes that are going to bend with my foot so these fit the bill and that's the reason that I got these because other espadrilles that I've looked at that I've tried on have just been far too stiff and I'm I'm in my 40s my feet do not like being uncomfortable and um, I try to make sure that I keep that in mind when I'm buying shoes I want style, but I also want comfort so that I'm not preoccupied with thinking about how my feet feel throughout the course of the day. The next uh, two pair are from none other than Steve Madden because I've been on a Steve Madden kick and I have been on, as you guessed it, the um, Rock Studs. These are the Odely Multi. And they are just another flat sandal, similar to the tan travel sandal, but these have the snake detail and the studs on these are silver where most of the other ones that I have gotten are gold. So it does wrap around the ankle there and it has the studs as well around the footbed. have a pair my last I think it's my last pair of sandals from Steve Madden for this year they're on pre-order and I think they are due to ship on July 23rd um, this one is the P um, the travel P tan I have the regular travels um, these are the ones that they released earlier in the season that have the pearls on them. And I thought these were perfect as we return to, um, you know, in-person worship service. The pearls would be great for Sunday for church and neutral in color so that they would go with anything that I decide to wear. Again, the studding around the footbed and then pearls around the ankle and across the vamp of the foot on the leather straps. And I know I've gone a little Steve Madden that style crazy, but it is what it is. And then the last one is another pair from Rockport. I did get these in two colors, got them in the lighter tan. And this one is considered, um, it's called the Aqua. Ivy Cross Sling, but the color is in tan. These are also a full grain leather. I have worn the lighter tan colored pair. And um, what I will say is, although showing you on camera how the closure works seems pretty easy, these, they gave me an absolute fit trying to get the, um, a, get them adjusted and worn um, when I wore the light colored pair. But this is the darker saddle color. It's got a little bit of a um, tribal print kind of mosaic around the bottom. It's in natural um, fibers, kind of like the espadrille bottom, but it's in two-tone for a pattern. And then it crisscrosses over the vamp with a top of foot leather post as well. And then the sides actually adjust, but they don't, um, you don't undo the, you adjust the strap, but it has this little hook that actually just kind of holds this in place. And I ended up having to adjust this clasp all the way out in order for it to feel comfortable around the top of my foot and in my ankle area and I when I first tried them on I didn't have any issues with it but as I was standing trying to stand in them they were very uncomfortable now I know where I need to adjust them but as I look for other shoes from Rockport, 
if they have this kind of class on them, I will likely avoid them because this takes way too much effort. Um, and I had admittedly a little bit of a learning curve to try to get adjusted to these. Now, um, I will go ahead and get these adjusted because I know from wearing the light colored pair where the setting needs to be in order for me to be able to get them on, you know, quicker. Um, but I don't think I would buy another pair that has the class enclosure like these, but they are really comfortable. The pitch is really good. I love the fact that it has a little bit of a raised platform here in the front because that actually helps to eat up some of the heel space so that it's a much, much more um, wearable heel height. So that is it for part nine of my Loving My sh Souls haul. I don't know why I'm getting so tongue-tied today. Um, which of these shoes do you like best? Any thoughts on the ones that I've already worn before? Drop your comments, your questions down below. Before you head out, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. Hit the bell alert so that you do not miss any of my future shoe uploads or any of my live streams. Um, until next time, take care.